so moist and so delicious. Wow. Chocolate chip cookies with only three ingredients? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. And if you're jonesing for something sweet and you don't want any flour or sugar, this recipe's for you. So watch to the end because you gotta memorize this one. It's so easy, 15 minutes, they're in your hand warm. Okay, so we're gonna just start out. The three ingredients are bananas, oats, and chocolate chips. But I like some of my oats blended up because then it's a little bit more like flour. So before I add the oats, we're gonna get our banana started. This is what replaces the sugar in the recipe. So you wanna make sure you have some nice brown spots on your banana because the sweeter, the better. You don't want them too ripe though, that's kinda of yucky. All right, now you just smash them with your fork and it takes a while. I always tell people, if you think you've smashed them enough, go one more minute. This is very similar to my banana oatmeal pancake recipe that I just put up. If you haven't watched that one, be sure to do because those are so easy and delicious, just like these. You're not needing to make them smooth, but you're needing to get all the sugar to come out of the banana. You almost want to make it like it's a puree. You can see already, you see how it's getting more wet? And now you can see how much more liquid you got out of that. You see that? It's almost like a batter. So now let's add our oats that we ground it up. And we're gonna add the whole oats because we want a little bit of chunky oats in it. And then we add our chocolate chips. Just stir those around and just keep smashing it in and get all that banana into the oats. Can you see that? Look at that, like cookie dough. Three ingredients, oh my God. Once you guys learn this recipe, you'll be making this every week, I promise. This makes somewhere between 12 and 15 cookies, depends how big you do it. Okay, if you roll them in a ball first and then press them, because I like them flat because they seem to cook through a little more evenly. This just helps me get the same amount every time. So I just kind of roll them in a ball and then flatten them. So that looks good because they're gonna stay this shape. So you just want them exactly how you want them to look. You make them how you want them right now. Okay, that's it. 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you are ready for a delicious treat. I can't wait, a warm cookie. It's the best. They're ready. Are you ready? Look at those, oh my God. More than that, smell those. I wish you could. Okay, and now I'm gonna enjoy my warm three ingredient cookie with a cup of tea. And this is an extremely healthy tea. This is the one that I'm having right now. It's the Chaga Ashabwanda. Sometimes I do it with the caramel nut flavor. This flavor is butterscotch cream. Oh my God. And then I added this new milk I'm trying. It's an almond milk that has pistachio in it. Okay, so now let's taste it up. First a sip. Mm. Wow, that's a good tea. Now the warm cookie, oh, look at that. Can you see that? That is so soft and moist. Amazing. I haven't made these in a long time. And now I have a feeling I'm gonna be making them every week because 
It's such an incredible treat when you're craving something sweet. No guilt, nothing bad. These chocolate chips that I use are the Enjoy brand because I really like chocolate chips that don't have the, what is it, it's kind of some kind of liqueur. And these chips are good for kids that have allergies. So they're a good brand. Mm. Delicious, you guys. You have to try it. Cheers, here's to healing and your good health. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Yum. Mmm. These store in the fridge, I've even done it in the freezer before, but oh my God, they're so good, warm. They're so good. Mmm. I'll have another as soon as I turn the camera off. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you.